All right, you guys, we're here at Carlos's house. We're dropping off some of the gear, but I have to show you the little dog. Here you go, babe. Oh, you go, puppy. The bull terrier, the target dog. Hi, honey. Honey, come here. Come here. Every vlog video I do, I always find some type of animal, either a cat, dog. Oh my goodness. You are just too excited, huh? So right now we are dropping off a bunch of stuff here at the house that we can't take over to the island. Oh my goodness. Um, what's the name of the island again? Culebra. Culebra. We're going to the island of Culebra and myself and Carlos's girlfriend, we're gonna take a 15 minute airplane ride over to the island. We're gonna get there, we're gonna rent a Jeep and then Blue Gabe and Carlos are gonna take his boat over there. So, what, it's 50 miles, 50 miles to the island they're gonna go. Um, but right now we're trying to figure out space, spacing because we got a lot of stuff that we gotta put on a boat and go over to the island with. out there getting baits ready out of his freezer. I'm trying to relax because we got a heck of a boat right ahead of us. Yeah, you do. Hey, can I bring this couch on the boat? What? Can I bring this couch on the boat? Or maybe the mattress? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Carlos's answer to everything is, yeah, of course. All right, you guys, I'm here at this small airport with Natalia. This is Carlos's girlfriend. The boys took the boat over to the island there's a helicopter over there. It's a little noisy, but we're gonna get on this mini plane and fly about 15, 20 minutes to the island. Kelly. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is the smallest plane I have ever been on. This is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a, it's a... <laughs> Natalia, have you rode this plane before? Yes, once. One time? Yes. Three dogs. Okay. Was it bumpy? Yes. The turbulence? Ew. Let's I'm see four. how it's gonna be today. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna like the landing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We are getting buckled in. See. See. Uh-huh. So I heard the landing on this plane is the most interesting part because I think we go over like this little mountain and then it's onto a strip. So we'll see. A oh turn. boy. A, good turn. a big turn. Ooh, oh my god. Check, we got seatbelts on.
experiencia. Oh, sí, pues, sí. Igual no, ah. mejor no me imaginé que íbamos a estar todos. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was incredible. That was probably the most beautiful flight I've ever been on. <laughs> Guys, these next three days are gonna be insane. Dang, just to think that Gabe and Carlos are probably still two hours out on boat right now and we just landed in 15 minutes. So there's like nothing here. So there's no Jeeps available. We are gonna go to Carlos Jeep Rental. Carlos Jeep Rental? To see if they have like a, at least a golf cart. Okay. <laughs> If not, then it looks like we'll be walking everywhere we go. <laughs> or using the boat. At or least we the, have boat. the boat. Yes. Look at that little drawing, at though. Least we'll have the boat. Cute. That's a, a Taino um, uh, symbol. A what symbol? A Taino, like. What's that? That Those were like our native um, in, Indians. Oh. You know? it, they were called Taino. That's interesting. Yeah. One thing about here in Puerto Rico and the islands around it, it's very artistic. A lot of buildings have a lot of art on the, oh, yeah, on yeah. the walls. Kind of reminds me of uh, Miami back home. A lot of artists. But that's what makes the islands. I feel like the art and the colors of the buildings, I love it. Wow. Just right around the corner. <laughs> Carlos Jeep Rentals, we're praying. It looks like... There goes another plane. They look not open. All right, so a little update. Oh. Carlos Jeep Rentals closed four minutes ago. So that's cool. <laughs> so we're just setting up camp on someone's porch. I don't know. I don't think anyone lives here. But we're looking up the address of the Airbnb that we booked yesterday. We're probably just gonna walk there because Jeeps and golf carts are apparently out of the picture right now, but we can come back to Carlos's Jeep rental at 6 a.m. tomorrow and hopefully get a golf cart at least. So I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but our airport is right above that blue dot where we are. And our Airbnb is somewhere down here so we were gonna walk, but Natalia called one of her friends who live on the island and they're gonna give us a little ride there. I don't think it's that far of a walk. Look, look we literally walk from here to here and Airbnb's over here somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> we're gonna get chauffeured around the island right now. And it looks like there's a coffee shop called Blanc Flamingo Coffee. Have to go there in the morning. Oh my God, it looks so good. Black Flamingo Coffee? Yes. It is? Alright, Natalia just said the black... Black? Is it black? Black Flamingo, yeah. I said Blanc, I don't know why, but Black Flamingo Coffee. And she, you're a coffee lover too, right? Yes, <laughs> we're coffee lovers. Hello. Tú le pagaste, ¿cómo va a ser? At least it's a very beautiful day right now. Ikako? So Blue Gabe and Carlos. Okay, so Blue Gabe and Carlos are a little bit, ha they're like halfway here right now. Um, we, so we cannot get a Jeep rental because the first place was out of Jeeps and the second place closed four minutes before we got there. And um, right now we're in like a taxi going to the Airbnb. So, or a golf cart, but we can probably get a golf cart tomorrow at 6 a.m. Yeah, so. Probably just walk, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, well, we're trying to find the Airbnb right now. Okay. Did you guys go past the big barge? I think that was you then. I filmed you, I think. Because it was about. Hold on, hold on. What'd you say? Oh, well, all right. Hey, hold on. We got to find the Airbnb. I got to talk to you later. All right, bye. When we pulled up, Natalia was like, oh my gosh, me and Carlos used to live right there. And it's this, was it the orange house? Yeah. The orange house directly across right, the street. street. How funny is that? It's awesome. Oh my gosh. Flashback. This view is amazing. All right, so I think the door is open. I can't believe y'all, I don't even know how they found this. 
Uh oh, this might not be it. Yeah, the door is locked. The, maybe there's like another door? The, because this, are the, this is the house on the photo. Like, this is the back. I hope this is the house. Yeah, it, this has to be. I hope we didn't just get fooled on Airbnb mm. or something. This is, I mean, this, hold on. Maybe we should just knock. Ay, ay, ay. It's a good thing we got here early. Mm -hmm. If we would have got here at nighttime when they're showing up. Oh. I'm gonna go around. All right, I'm gonna see what this is. So we have tried calling the number that Airbnb has. We tried calling Mike, apparently, who's the owner of this Airbnb. He doesn't answer. We left a message. I just texted him. I tried messaging him on Airbnb, no response. The door is locked. Uh, the Airbnb says that the door is supposed to be unlocked and there's a key on the counter, but we've just found a lockbox here. And it doesn't look like there's a number to get in the lockbox. So we might be camping out on this porch. At least we got a roof over our head and a nice view. But this is insane. I've never had this issue with an Airbnb before. That was our dinner tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm delirious right now. I can't believe this is happening. The windows are even bolted in. I can't even try to force open the window. These are padlocked. Oh man. Gabe and Carlos are going to be so excited if we can't open this Airbnb. <laughs> Before they get here. Oh my god. It's a good time we have some time to spare before they get here so we can try to figure this out. Up on the roof we go. This is sick though. I love this. As long as the ceiling don't bust through, we're Gucci. Wow, I whoop. there's stuff there. This is gorgeous. Well we got good news. Now we're just hanging out on the roof here. He finally texted us back and said, Hi Kelly, one second, I'll resend the check-in information. So at least we got some type of contact with this dude. <laughs> Honestly, if we would have like gotten locked out, I would have just camped on the roof and down below. <laughs> because why not? Yeah, I think we would have been fine. <laughs> and we had to find that chicken for dinner. <gasps> There's a cat. There's a cat right there and a chicken right there. Cat tacos and drumsticks. Okay, so update about 30 minutes later, we received a call from the owner of this Airbnb, and turns out he never even got a notification from the Airbnb app. I've never had that happen before, but he called us, um, and we let him know that we're staying here for three days. We got the lockbox number, and we got the key to go in. So right now, we probably have about an hour, hour and a half. We're waiting for Blue Gabe and Carlos to come in on the boat, and we're gonna meet him down at the dock or the marina, and we're gonna go see him there. Look at this cat, though, hello. There's two, oh my gosh. There's one there and one there. Hello, kitties. Are you opening a beer? Oh, hold up. Mm-hmm. Got cheers. Here's my, to my first Puerto Rican beer. We made it alive on the mini airplane. Blue Gabe and Carlos just got to the dock. Let's, let's drink it now, actually. Salud. 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 <laughs> Anyways, so her friend just brought her a fish sandwich and I'm eating some of it because I'm kind of hungry. But <laughs> it's the cutest thing. She's like, have some potatoes. <laughs> Which is not wrong because they're french fries. But here, they don't say french fries. They say papas. Papas. So these are papas, which is potatoes. But it was funny because in English, they're potatoes and they're french fries. So I thought that was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but her friend Rolando? Rolando? Rolando. Rolando went to go pick up the boys at the marina. And they're going to bring him back here. So in the meantime, we're going to enjoy a beer, have some food, and relax. All right, you guys, it is the next morning, and we actually switched Airbnbs. This one's a little bit bigger and more what we want to make videos in. We actually have a full kitchen in this one, and it's absolutely incredible. Check out this gorgeous balcony, and this view is insane. All, all those roosters have been waking us up since probably like 5.30 this morning. But here's the inside. Say hello to YouTube. Hello. 
Nice kitchen. We got two bedrooms and a full bathroom. And this place is just perfect for us. Right now we're gonna go get a Jeep or a golf cart, depending on what they have. Go get some coffee, some breakfast, and then we're gonna go out and hopefully spearfish, snorkel, fish, troll, do whatever, just explore the island. And there is a pig. There's a pig trotting towards us right now. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a dog and I'm like, that looks like a pig. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Blue Gabe, catch it. That's a boar hog. Look at him. Oh, get him, Gabe. And he's got serious teeth. Oh my god. Like you think he will, he will actually catch you. Well, good thing I'm standing behind you. Come here. That thing is gnarly looking. It's so cute. Come here. Hear him popping his teeth? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's your thumbnail. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's got teeth. Oh, hi. Are they like sought out for like people's pets? Well, they just go around and take trash. People trash. I'm petting it. Oh my people gosh. People trash every night you go out. Do you like to eat trash? There's plenty of them here. Dude, it looks like he's a Russian hog mixed with a pot belly. Oh my goodness. Hello. Don't you do that. <laughs> Leave him a bone. He's just joined his morning. Look, there's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> there's pigs and horses. I want to catch him and leg him like a real hog. Hey, don't do that. Hi. Don't do that. Look at Look at Chief Puff, he started backing up. Wait, get my picture. If that hog hit you with those teeth though, he could devastate you. Hi. That, that car, that, that person, that blue car must have fed him one day because he looked up like, yo, throw me a donut. Oh, I can't believe this. Bro. How oh, cool. Oh, he stinks like a boar hog too. So what kind is he? I don't know, I've never seen such a thing. He might be like a... Oh, he's stretching. He's like a miniature <laughs> Russian boar he's hog. Like a redneck size hog. A redneck hog. He don't like you. He's skeptical. He knows. He knows you're Blue Gabe. Look at those teeth, though. Bro, he could, like, snap real quick. But his tail's wagging. He's happy. <clears throat> he's happy. You a happy pig? This is insane. When I visit islands, I love to walk and just walk and explore because you're always going to find some cool things. We just found a cool looking hog and a horse tied up on the side of the road. We ain't even drink coffee yet. So we're about to close out this vlog video right now. We got the golf cart. We're waiting at this absolutely cute coffee place here on the island. And I wanted to walk over here and show you guys this artwork on this building here. Um, it's a boat with men with a big net pulling in a bunch of missiles and bombs. And there's also like dead turtles and deer and everything in the net. Um, and from what Carlos was saying, it's basically on the island, I think there's missiles and bombs that are still on the island in the water and the locals some of the locals don't want to remove them because if they remove if they remove them then people can start coming here and commercializing and start building up on the land here so i think they if the missiles are still there then they can't build so i think this picture is a really strong and powerful message within that story but i'm gonna walk back to the golf cart now it's an absolutely gorgeous day Today is day one on the island. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The airplane ride coming in, the Airbnb, 
the hog walking on the side of the road that was like probably that right there made my morning seeing that boar hog just trotting on the side of the road we're about to get a cup of coffee and then we're headed out on the boat we're gonna go spear fishing snorkeling i heard the diving here is amazing so be sure to stay tuned for the next video because you're gonna be seeing some blue crystal clear water lots of fish maybe some cooking so see y'all in the next one see ya